I found this. I wanted to watch this. Um, Sneeko's greatest motivational principle. This is some positivity that we can go and steer this away from. Uh, and this is actually uploaded by Sonny V2. Two years ago, chat, Sonny V2 has 3 million subs and he's known basically for making fun of YouTubers who fell off. And I don't know why this video is private. Shout out to my Discord people for finding it. But look at this. They, he gets banged. Oh, he's like, uh, everyone who got fired. The dumbest lottery winners. The stupidest time travelers. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh. Negativity. He posted one positive video. Sneeko's greatest motivational principle. Funny how that doesn't get uploaded. Funny how pretty much everything on his channel is talking about the downfall of somebody else. The, the, the terrible, duh, blah. But they used to call me every YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. And it's proven... It's proven true for a lot of these documentary type people and a lot of people behind the scenes, a lot of people say like they're on the I miss the old Sneeko stuff like that. I didn't know this existed and I'm curious to, to I haven't seen this. I'm curious to what he said, but I think it's interesting that he posted that and Sonny V2, I, I like your videos. I mean, they are entertaining, but also you do profit off of negativity. The one thing that these documentary YouTubers have realized is that they can have people stay focused in on their video if they're talking about something negative, if they play like a creepy ominous song and it's like a murder documentary, then people will be invested into what you're talking about. People like to see other people fail because it makes them feel better about the fact that they're mediocre in life. And that's basically what a lot of these types of channels do. And uh, we'll, we'll see, this is the opposite. And I think that's, it's pretty ironic that this is the one that gets privated. Yeah. Why do we biologically perceive uncomfortability to be a negative emotion? I don't know if you've ever seen my old videos, but this is like copy paste, the same music, the same editing style. This is what I used to do, chat. Okay. Wow. No, not 91. Thank you, bro, for the 50. <laughs> Been saying it for years now. Yeah, it's right versus wrong, good versus evil. It's one or zero. We need to get back to that critically thinking what we worked on in life, but continue to get rid of what doesn't. Yeah, you need to actively seek out the proper information and try to uplift people on the internet. And why do we perceive- What do you say? I didn't watch YouTube like all middle school, all of high school, like when you had a YouTube channel. Yeah, years. a lot of people so, chat, like you're like Wumble Wifey and a lot of you guys in here that you know about me from streaming and for the, the new wave that I'm on. But this was, uh, this is what a lot of people knew me for for a long time, this. This. Save comfortability to be a positive emotion. Is there a reason why our brain is always telling us to take that comfortable path when it knows that that uncomfortable path is gonna benefit the most in the long run? Comfortability is a wolf in sheep's clothing to the point where our own brain subconsciously tries to convince us that it's the right thing to strive for. Comfortability is that KFC zinger box that's oh so tasty. But 10 minutes after it's finished, the regret kicks in. Or that cute little chihuahua that's actually a little demon when you go and pat it. Or even when you've had a few too many drinks and you uh, jump on the old Snapchat. I don't know why I went that far with analogies, but you get what I mean. Comfortability looks great in the short term, but over the long term, it's never beneficial. Now Look at the description. He even said, one of my biggest inspirations, Sneeko has a video called It's Okay to Be Uncomfortable. I wanted to expand that. You can watch the video here. Let's click that video. Fucking nothing. <laughs> Banned. Bro, Sunny V2, man. Like, I don't understand why. Like, and he's even talked about me since I've been banned. He's, he's been saying, like, oh, the devastating downfall, blah, blah, blah. Why don't they say this, chat? Why, I, he said here in this private video, I'm one of his biggest inspirations. But all he said is pretty much like, ugh, the device, the red pill rabbit hole. It's, it, bro, you, you will inspire somebody. You can theoretically change someone's life and they won't even say anything about it, especially with a platform with 3 million subscribers. Alan said, even though I found you through some of the new wave sneaker, your old videos have inspired me. Hello, these streams are also a W, uh, yay 24. Thanks, bro. Fuck Susan, I wish I could watch your old YouTube videos. Tell Susan one more time. Fuck you, Susan. Fuck you, I you know hate you. You know where, what the fuck, <laughs> bro? Boom, buck up. Well, we love everyone, we're yay 24. Yeah, no. We right, love everyone, we love but them. you can find the videos in the creativity kit, but I'm, I'm slowly so starting bad. to repost those videos on Twitter. Um, but yeah, they're all in the creativity kit. Cute little chihuahua that's actually a little demon you when you go and pat it. Fingers. Or even when you've had a few too many drinks and you uh, jump on the old Snapchat. I don't know why I went that far with analogies, but you get what I mean. Comfortability looks great in the short term, but over the long term, it's never beneficial. Now I'm gonna encourage you to think back to as many points in your life as you can where you felt extra uncomfortable. I'll give you some of my personal examples so you have some food for thought. Exams, job interviews, exercise, editing this video, even asking girls out. Yeah, I pretty much always got rejected. Look at my head. You can almost objectively observe the outcomes for each of these examples. There's always a large chunk of observable benefit from each of these uncomfortable tasks. Exercise, fitter body. Job interview, money. Girls, now think back to all the points in your life where you felt most comfortable. 
watching movies, being at the pub having a schnitzel, which I am very guilty of. I don't think I can go a week without having a schnitty at the pub. Even smoking bongs in your mate's garage. Which again, I am very guilty of. But explain to me any of the long-term benefits of any of these exercises. Maybe like getting really good at watching Rick and Morty while you're high. Yeah, that's a really marketable skill, isn't it? And on top of that, why is uncomfortability encouraged? When someone says that they're comfortable in a situation, we say, oh, that's a good thing. When in reality, what would actually be good for that person would be for them to be out of their comfort zone. Unless you're talking about maybe like breaking a bone or drowning. I mean, that's what the, the old videos were. It was like that same type of humor. He's following the same rhythm, like sentence, 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 punchline, sentence, 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 joke, stuff like that. And it was tapping into the introspective thoughts that you have, kind of being like a neurotic, insecure, blah, 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 guy who overthinks and is on the internet all the time because when you're on the internet constantly reading, you're like, Bleh, and you have more of a neurotic brain and these videos were kind of tapping into that voice that a lot of us have and, and can relate to. And I think that's why a lot of people miss it. But now Kay Miller says, we love Pfizer. There's more important things to talk about like the vaccine, like the election, like yay 24, like what's really going on. Because if, if I get to talk about this forever, the people that say they miss the old Sneeko, it's like, how much, like what, what's really being said? A lot of this is kind of just like therapy for internet guys. You know, this video is a place for you to express your feelings in a well-crafted video. And you feel better after you do it and some people can relate to it. But, you know, this this is not something that, if you if you listen carefully, like, yes, people like the editing style and the way it's constructed and stuff like that, the, what it taps into. But is it really that? Are you really saying that much? Then, yeah, it's probably better to be comfortable in those situations. One of my biggest inspirations for this YouTube channel, Sneeko, got me thinking about this in one of his videos. His video titled, It's Okay to Be Uncomfortable, has two awesome points. That the feeling of uncomfortable is the most effective way to learn about yourself. You'll learn about what you're afraid of, and you'll learn about what makes you feel comfort. You don't grow when you're comfortable. The Elbow and feeling of uncomfortability is the most effective way to learn about yourself as well as you don't grow when you're comfortable and i'll throw in my two cents here as well you don't actually achieve anything when you're in a comfortable position comfortability is such short-term thinking when you really analyze it it benefits us greatly in the short term but over the long term it's detrimental meanwhile uncomfortability is difficult in the short term but the long-term benefits are endless maybe then let's ask the question why why do we avoid these uncomfortable situations. Resisting the unknown or comfort is tied to our ancestral drive to survive. But there's nothing that we can do to change that. It's in our biology to act that way. However, now that we're aware that uncomfortability is the natural- This goes back to what, I, what we're saying. Like you have to actively seek out things that will make you better. You have to actively seek out information that's going to make you smarter. You need to go and work towards programming your mind in the right direction because of how many distractions there are. So this is something, this is why my message has developed over time. You think that I really changed, but I haven't. Three, four years ago, maybe five actually, I made this video called It's Okay to Be Uncomfortable, talking about how I needed to go and do things to challenge myself to become better, right? Are you gonna make, so is that gonna be the whole concept of my videos and my work forever, just talking about that? Or am I gonna go and continue to elevate that and try to get out of my comfort zone and try to do things that are harder? I've already done that. It doesn't make me uncomfortable, uncomfortable anymore. You need to have new challenges. So people who say they miss the old thing, listen to the model that I had in my video. If I continued to make old Sneeko videos, then I would be comfortable against my old Sneeko philosophy. So did I really change or am I just growing, which is the whole point of the channel was growth. Taker says, Sneeko, your main channel is literally dying. Not for real, you looking jack recently. Thank you, bro. You want my dick though, but thanks. Emotion. We can step outside of ourselves. We can reduce the emotion and we can say, this is going to be uncomfortable, but it will benefit me in the long run. How much more empowering is it to say, this is gonna be uncomfortable, but it will benefit me over the long run, instead of, oh, I'm scared. You're a little bitch, that's what you are. But I still love you, yeah, please like the video. So remember this, short-term pain always equals long-term gain. Short-term uncomfortability always equals long-term comfortability. On the other hand, short-term comfortability always equals long-term uncomfortability. We're all gonna have to go through pain either way, so you might as well choose the pain that has the bonus of success attached to it. Don't strive to be comfortable because all you're really striving for is a mediocre life. Facts. Strive for uncomfortability. You might be surprised with the results. And I don't think he is. I don't think he is. If you check out his channel, Holmes, strive for uncomfortability or else you're going to be mediocre. Damn, he even put my face at the thumb. Look, I'm making the same video, the story of Minecraft's dirtiest predator, most awkward moments of Joe Rogan, but it's you know, his whole channel, his whole thing is, is profiting off of people that are trending and also negativity. 
Everything is making fun of someone else. Everything is, there's nothing uplifting or nothing really that uncomfortable. He found a formula that works, that's algorithm friendly. You can make long videos talking about trending topics and do this forever. He kind of went against that, you know? There's nothing, he, you know that's gonna work. <laughs> That's it's it. your job.